MX Linux is a relatively new Debian based Linux distro with plenty going for it. It's pretty lightweight, uses core anti its components and has a strong community working on it every day. Our MX Linux review tells you everything you need to know about this easily overlooked Linux distro. Hi, I'm Phil from Mectakesia and this is MX Linux Review 2019, a popular simple distro. If you're a Linux newbie, you might be confused by the sheer number of distributions on offer. One relatively new entry to the market is MX Linux. It's a Debian based distro with a lot of support that has topped the distro watch's popularity list for at least the last six months. But why is MX Linux proving to be so popular? Let's find out. Appearance MX Linux comes with the XFCE desktop environment as standard. Although the developers have tweaked things a little with a customizable taskbar on the left hand side. XFCE is famed for being lightweight, so it's a good choice by the developers as it means you're not going to be struggling on older systems. If the MX Linux UI isn't to your taste, however, you can switch to alternatives like GNOME or KDE. You're free to customize the XFCE appearance if you'd prefer. There are some great XFCE themes out there. Apps can be accessed from the MX Linux icon at the bottom of the taskbar with the usual system icons accessible just above it. Appearance wise it's fairly basic and looks a little dated but that's the point. XFCE is all about simplicity which ties in nicely to the MX Linux philosophy. Beginners should find it easy to use while the pros can alter things as they see fit. Performance. While XFCE is rated for being lightweight MX Linux describes itself as midweight. It uses some core components from the Andex Linux distro designed for older hardware and builds on them to create a more advanced and modern environment. Running idle in a low powered virtual machine, 2 gigs of RAM, 1 CPU, 128 megs of graphics allocated, MX Linux sat pretty comfortably with 25% RAM usage and 4% CPU utilization. This fits well with the minimum system requirements. The project recommends 512 megabytes of RAM, a modern processor, whatever that means, and minimum 6 gigabytes of space. Heavier usage, that's to say multiple browser tabs with video playback, did cause some usage spikes. This is as you'd expect, but at no point did MX Linux feel sluggish. You'll get more out of the distro with a better PC, obviously, you always do, but it should be a capable option for lower powered systems without having to sacrifice usability. User friendliness. MX Linux might look a little dated, but it's one of the easiest Linux distributions to use. Not only is the design simple, but there are a few extra ticks on offer to make MX Linux a good Linux distro to switch to. As we've mentioned, the single taskbar makes finding things in MX Linux easy. You don't have to go far, just hit the main taskbar button and search the menu. Thanks to MX Tools, you're able to find all the major settings you might need, acting a little like the control panel on Windows systems. If you're unsure about anything, there's a link to the extensive MX Linux manual on the desktop as a shortcut. This covers everything from basic uses to extensive technical information labelled under the hood for the more professional tinkerers. As far as user friendliness is concerned, MX Linux is one of the easiest Linux distributions to get your head around. Installation it's also pretty easy to install MX Linux thanks to the streamlined installer. You just need to download the MX Linux ISO for your system, 32 and 64 bit versions are available, and burn it to a DVD or flash it to a suitable USB flash drive. By default the installer chooses to install it to your entire disk, but you can alter this if you'd prefer. Once you're done, the installer copies over your files. You don't need to wait around to complete the rest of your installation configuration, like your language and login details either. Installation took about 5 minutes to complete, although the installer suggested it could take up to 20 minutes. Packages and programs. There's an extensive amount of available packages for MX Linux, as well as a well-rounded set of software ready included in the base installation. By default, MX Linux comes with a lot of software. Big packages like Firefox, LibreOffice, VLC Media Player and GIMP are all included as standard. You also have access to non-FOSS packages like proprietary graphics drivers as well as a selection of simple games. If you're missing anything, the Synaptic Package Manager or apt at the terminal gives you access to the full Debian and MX Linux repositories. So, is it for you? 
If you're looking for something quick, stable and light on resources, consider MX Linux. It's easy to install and it's a great alternative to the major distros, especially for lower power PCs. Not sure if MX Linux is for you? Why don't you check out some of the best Linux distros for beginners, link in the description. Let us know what you think of MX Linux in the comments section below. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.